Good afternoon, everybody. In this video, I will instruct you how to complete the elastic collision the lab. So before you do your lab, here are some of the pre-lab questions that you must complete. You need to have an understanding of collision. What are the elastic collision? What are the momentum equation for the two balls colliding elastically? So you have to write down the equation here and you can find out this equation in the lecture videos. And exactly the same thing here in this question, you have to write down the kinetic energy equation. So if the two balls collide, then their momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. That means the total momentum before collision is exactly equal to the total momentum after collision. So if the collision is elastic, the total kinetic energy is also conserved. That means kinetic energy before collision must be exactly equal to the kinetic energy after collision. So here we'll do this lab using a simulation and you have to complete this table here. So already have completed this table here. So this is the number I chosen in your lab report. The number would be different. So you have to calculate all the, the L regions here, all right? So, and these numbers are different in your lab sheet. Okay, so let's do that. So first thing I'm going to open up the simulation. So here is the simulation here. So if you do not know the link, so you, you can simply also type in the fit collision. If you do that, then it simply pops out the collision lab, all right? And I will also send you the link. This is what you will get. All right, go to the intro. And now here you can change all the, the numbers here. So the, the next thing I'm going to do is going to change this more data here. Click on the more data and that tells you the masses you have to plug in. So if I go back to my uh, the, uh, the table here, what do I see here is the different masses and the different velocity. So you have to plug in all these numbers and simulate it okay so let's start doing that the first mass is 0 0.25 and second mass is 0 0.2 and let me just select these two masses here 0 0.25 here so 0.25 let's enter and this mass is 0 0.2 okay and now you have to select the the velocity here the velocity so what are the velocities we know the velocity of this object is one and a half, all right? So let's do that one and a half, but we do not know this number here. All the 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 uh, LO set regions or highlighted regions, you have to calculate those numbers. So these are not given in your the lab. You have to calculate, you have to find out using the simulation and using the equations. So, but we know this information here, 1.5. So let's plug in 1.5 first. 1.5 so this is 1.5 1.5 here okay but i do not know this number so i have to calculate so how do i calculate here let's come back here we know the the total momentum is given that is zero so what is the momentum equation how do i find out this number here so let me just show you the step by step instruction for calculating this number here all right for this number here the momentum equation tells you the total momentum before collision must be equal to the total momentum after collision. So the total momentum here before collision is m1 v1i plus m2 v2i. This is the total momentum before collision. So here i represents the initial that we also call before collision. So this is the total momentum before collision and this must be equal to the total momentum after collision 
So here is this equation m1 v1 f plus m2 v2 f that must be so this is the p total that is the total momentum okay so you see this is the initial momentum before collision and this is the final momentum which is also after the collision and these two numbers must be equal that we call the p total remember the p total is given so so this is the total momentum before collision is given so here as i have to find out the before collision i'm going to simply plug it into this equation all right so i'm just going to use this equation here let's plug in all the numbers here i'm going to use the red color here m1 what's the mass the mass is 0 0.25 0 0.25 so let me plug this number 0 0.25 okay what is the v1i the v1i is given which is 1.5 1.5 plus m2 what's the m2 m2 is 0 0.2 0 0.2 and what is v2i the v2i we do not know we have to calculate v2i and this must be equal to the total momentum what is the total momentum the total momentum is zero so that is equal to zero so let's solve it now 0 0.25 1.5 and if you solve if you solve this one your v2i v2i let me do that v2i what the number i would get is negative 0 0.25 times 1.5 divided by 0 0.2 and if you use your calculator the number you will get is with negative 1.875 meter per second that's the number you will get okay so that number you have to plug in here all right so this way you should be able to calculate all the numbers from from this point to this point all the numbers okay so now I'm going to show you another calculation and I'll, I'll, I'll cover this one and you have to calculate after collision using the simulation and I'll talk about that one just in, uh, in a minute here. So simply, so this formula, using this formula here, we should be able to fill in all the, all the tables here. So let me show you another, another um, calculation here. So we know this is the total momentum before collision. So I'm simply going to p use the p total. Okay. Now let me show you this calculation here. What is the mass? The mass is 0.6. So let's plug in 0 0.6. I'm going to do here 0 0.6 times what is the initial velocity? Initial velocity is 2. So let's plug in 2. All right. And what is the uh, another mass that is 0.6 it's exactly the same and what is the velocity here is 0 0 and that should be equal to the p total so this quantity 0 0 0.6 times 2 that will give you 1.2 so my p total is 1.2 so that's the this number here so we calculated this one too now let me show you the trial number four so I'm going to use the trial number four. Trial number four calculation now. Okay. So for trial number four, let's see what are the numbers given. 0 0.3, that is M1, 0 0.3. What is my V1I? Two. What is my mass M2? We do not know because all the LO regions have to be calculated. All the LO regions have to be calculated. This one we'll calculate again using the simulation. M2 plus V2i, the V2i we know is given here, that is negative one. So let's use that one times negative one. And the total momentum is given, that is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So let's solve 0 0.3 times 2 will be 0 0.6 negative minus m1 
this is 0 0.5 so m sorry this is m2 and, and m2 would be 0 0.1 so my mass is 0 0.1 so in this way you should be able to fill in all the information that is listed up to here all right so this one is done using the calculation and this you will do without calculation or with using the simulation and in fact in fact you can also calculate all these using the calculation here and i'll just show you later so let's calculate i will show you one number here and then because we know all the table here all we need is these four numbers to simulate and then we can find out this velocity here the final velocity i stands for the initial velocity and here f stands for the final velocity so let's simulate this number here my initial velocity is 1.5 and negative 1.875 or i can use another data whatever you like let's calculate let's solve this one here 0 0.2 0 0.5 i'm going to cho choose the second uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 0 0.2 so let's use 0 0.2 and this one is 0 0.5 what are the other numbers the other numbers are 0 0.2 0 0.5 the mass the velocity is 2.5 and negative 1 2.5 and negative 1 2.5 this is 2.5 and this is negative 1 so here we have simulated this one plug in all the information i'm going to simply use the the momentum i, I can also find out the the values here okay and i can also use if i need the kinetic energy i can also use the kinetic energy whatever information you need it you can uh, see from here now and i'm going to do slow here so that you can record the numbers and in order to simulate you simply have to hit this button here the play button here let's do that so now the collides and after collision you see now the velocity here so the first ball has a velocity of 2.07 and it is in the backward direction that means it has to be negative and the second one has 0 0.43 in the forward direction so let's note that one 2.07 and 0 0.43 2.07 and 0 0.43 okay so 2.07 which uh, is exactly equal to this number here negative 2.5 and the second one is 1 and what the number we get here i think i have to check this calculus this has to be uh, this has to be the different number here 0 0.2 2.5 2.5 1 i think this number we need to change it this has to be i think i have written down the incorrect and it was 0 0.43 so let's plug in 0 0.43 0 0.43 all right so here we have all that's how you calculate v1f and v2f let me check one more time okay 0 0.43 and 2.07 all right so again as i said and this number is i think this number is two here so check your calculation 0 0.2 let me check is, did i put the mass correctly 0 0.2 0 0.5 let me just do one more time here just to make sure that all the numbers are consistent this velocity is 2.5 and negative 1 2.5 2.5 and this is negative 1 okay so let me hit this yeah 2.5 and 1 2.5 no 2.5 and 1 okay so 2.5 and 1 is the answer i think i was right okay so this is the correct answer in fact you see here negative 2.5 and 1 so this is the number i got negative 2.5 and 1 that's all you have to plug in and that's what we, the simulation gave us negative 2.5 negative because the direction is in the opposite uh, in the left direction or towards the negative x-axis and this is one which is in the positive direction 
So now, using this approach, you should be able to fill out all the table here, all the information here, because we know the initial condition, and using that, you can calculate the final velocity. Okay, so now let's move on. Now move on. Now you have to plug in into the formula, into the equation, and calculate these numbers here. So in elastic collision, the final velocity can be calculated using this equation. So let me calculate one for you. Okay, I'm going to calculate V1F and then and then you can calculate the rest for each trial. So let's do for the trial number two here. So the M1 is 0 0.2. So I'm going to calculate this here. So let's plug in the V1F. M1 is 0 0.2 negative m2 m2 what's the m2 here 0 0.5 0 0.5 mass is 0 0.2 again and 0 0.5 and v1i that is the initial velocity which is 2.5 2.5 plus 2 m2 what is m2 here m2 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 m1 is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 times V2i, my V2i is negative 1, 0 0.1, no, negative 1 here, so negative 1, and do all your math, all your math, if you do your calculation, the number, if you plug in your calculator, the number you will get is negative 2.5, okay, just check all your calculation, so what you have to do here, what you have to do from simulation, you have all the data already observed from the simulation. So here you simply fill out negative 1.5, that is V1i, and this is V2i, V1f, and V2f. So these already you have, you have all this number from the simulation, negative 1.5 or 1.875, negative 1.875 oh this is positive this is positive and then using this calculation you will almost get about the same number but just make sure that you get that number here so whatever number you have you fill in here and exactly now let's say for let's say for the trial 4 you get 0 0.5 and 3.5 0 0.5 and 3.5 and you calculate it and fill out the number here and if there is any error the simulation minus theory you have to calculate here and you just pick out one let's say for v1i so this is error for the v1i the v1 let's say uh, the first mass here so what you do this is negative 1.5 negative 155 minus 1.5 here I'm getting zero number. Sometimes you may get 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So write down all this error here. Just choose one velocity here. You can choose V1i or any of uh, the first velocity or you can choose the second velocity. And that should be your error, okay? So using this approach, you should be able to calculate or fill out this table here. So let's move on now. The, the third one is super easy here. You have to calculate the velocity of approach and the velocity of separation. Let me explain what is the velocity of approach and the velocity of separation means. So let's say you have one ball here and then there is another ball and these are before collision. Let's say this velocity, uh, this object is moving with a velocity V1i and this one is V2i. So this ball, the first ball, the first ball is moving towards the second ball. So the relative velocity between these two ball is the V1i minus V2i. That's the relative velocity between the two balls or that is how fast the first ball is approaching towards the second ball. Now after collision, the ball will separate. So 
this ball and this ball here after the collision the velocity will change it may move in the negative direction positive direction so that depends upon the magnitude of the velocity so here now let's say this is the second velocity here sorry the, the first uh, um, after collision v1 f and this is the velocity of the second ball v2 f the relative velocity between these two is v1 f minus v2 f that we call as a velocity of separation the one beautiful thing that happens in collision is for elastic collision the velocity of approach the velocity at which the first ball approaches towards the second ball before collision will be exactly the same as the velocity of separation after the collision so these two must be exactly the same so how do i calculate here so we know all the numbers so here the v1 i minus v2 i so you know this number here right you already have calculated v1 i let me clear this one here so we already know this number here v1 i this is my number and this is my v2 i so if you if i calculate v1 i minus v2 i what do i get just add these two numbers and fill in the here because the one is negative you have to add them together so 3.375 that is the velocity of approach and after collision after collision these two will separate again after so these two number you have to add them together here again so and fill out here you see the one is positive and another is negative so if the two balls are approaching approaching towards each other at this speed then after collision they will recede from each other with exactly the same velocity here so let me just show you for another number here for these two the relative velocity would be three and a half positive and what is the relative velocity between these two negative three and a half so you see the velocity at which the two balls are approaching after collision they will be separating exactly at the same speed or the same relative velocity all right so you should be able to fill out this table here and what are the remarks here the remarks is the magnitude of magnitude of velocity of approach is exactly equal to the magnitude of velocity of separation so you have to write down exactly the same thing in this equation and it has to be equal there is no way it has to be equal all the time with the, of course with an uh, opposite sign so here i already have filled out my data here so the last thing you have to do is calculate the kinetic energy so how do i calculate the kinetic energy so the formula is already given here half m1 v1 i squared we know the mass we know the velocity we know the mass we know the velocity so simply plug in in this equation and calculate the kinetic energy and of course the unit has to be in joule here so make sure that you write out the joule okay so once you calculate these two numbers should be exactly the same so what does this tell you this tells you the kinetic energy is conserved the kinetic energy before collision is exactly equal to the kinetic energy after collision that's what we call the kinetic energy is a conserved quantity kinetic energy does not change in elastic collision so if you see the kinetic energy remains exactly the same or the kinetic energy before collision is exactly equal to the kinetic energy after collision that collision we call as elastic collision so this is elastic collision like a perfect elastic collision okay so this is how you have to do this experiment here okay this is all the uh, 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 this is the detailed information i have given i have given you here hope you won't have any issue if you have any question let me know so again just do not fill out the day at uh, the table here make sure that you understand each and every step thoroughly okay make sure that you understand how it is done watch this video multiple times watch the definition all other videos and complete this lab okay so this is it 
If you have not sub subscribed to the channel, please do that. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time.